Hey, Orange One here. So I want to show off these smart weapons. They're pretty amazing, um, and you don't need too many cybernetics to get them working. But they basically are little homing missiles, like that will like target on your enemies. So I got a couple enemies here, and um, as you can see, this reticle. If you are aiming at them, it will try and target like either an, a leg, an arm, a torso, or the head. Kind of depending on what's kind of in the center the most. And then you can just kind of do that. If you do kind of control, you can get a lot of headshots as you can see, or you can get a lot of body shots. You can see pretty, pretty nice little uh, tool here. I do also have some very good cybernetics on this character. So I'll show you just how nice this is. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Okay, we do also have the shotgun. It's pretty nice. These, these weapons are pretty, pretty dope. I do also have the nice version of these on right now. Yeah, let's actually get reloaded. And then check this out. You can do that. That's the really nice thing. That's why you want these, is that you can get them behind cover. And then you can do stuff like that. You can like jump through the air and hit them going real quick through the air. It's pretty dope. In any case. The the main thing that you want to keep in mind with these things is the reticle and trying to keep the headshots going if you can. Because it will it'll get headshots for you if you want them. It's like super, super good. So alright, so this is the cybernetic that I was using. It's very good. This is the epic version of it. There are different versions. I'll go to the actual auto dock, ripper, not auto dock, uh, the ripper, and show you what this, what this, uh, a couple options that you have. Um, I don't think I bought from this ripper. I actually think that you get the um, the most basic version through the quest in the main game, uh, the tiger claw version. Um, but then you can also buy the other ones that have essentially better tracking and they'll hit more of the, the intended targets. So um, I have the this one, which is what you get with the main quest. It, it works, you know, it tracks just fine and I'll show you that off in just a minute. Um, you can also get a nicer version. I think you can get this one and also this one from Victor. I'm not 100% sure, but there's some auto docs that have different versions of the same thing. This one, as you can see, the Epic one gives you a better chance to actually hit. And the crit damage is increased by 15%. So it's just all around better. There is also some eye mods that you, you're gonna want. Like if you're looking at um, your eyes, there's, I think there might be some other ones that also do some other things, but the only one that I've found so far is target analysis. So if you have target analysis on, it's going to make it so you're, you don't get headshots basically, and your weapons are non-lethal. So I'll demonstrate what those look like in just a minute. Um, again, I think you can get most of these from Victor, which is um, like right in the main quest, he's like right off of Bradbury and Burren right here. Like he'll he'll hook it up with some pretty good smart tech. And then you get the, um, from Wakanda, I think it's Wakado or Wakando, or gosh, I've forgotten her name. The, um, the fixer here, the Japanese fixer. She, um, yeah, she'll give you the Tiger Claw version, which is pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and actually look at um, some more combat demonstrations of this though. I think that this save was the one with the Tiger Claw version. So you can just see a little bit of the different versions and how they perform. Before you spend the money, right? <laughs> Is the idea of what I was thinking here. Um, so let's see, right here I've got, if I hit I and then go to Cyberware, yeah I've got the Tiger Claw version and I don't have the one that's going to just prevent headshots, so this is just going to kind of do its, it, the best version that it can. Let's see how we, uh, how we do with this. I mean, it's, it's, it's performing, right? 
Now, actually, we did get a headshot there. It does still get headshots, even though it tells you that they won't always get headshots. But a lot of these are more of like, oh, yeah, was that a headshot? I think that might have been a headshot. I think we killed her. Let's try and go. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> that didn't work. All right, let's... You get, you get the idea um, with that one is that that one is okay. It does pretty well. I think uh, I just said that it's it was still getting headshots even though we had, had the thing on. I was actually referring to this clip here. Sorry. Uh, that press one, we, it was just the Tiger Claw version. So it was, it was tracking. It was doing a pretty good job. This wasn't getting as many criticals as the other one. Okay, so this version, we've got um, just the Tiger Claw version, and we're going to go with the one that um, makes it so you don't get headshots. You can kind of see how that, that works. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It won't give you headshots even if you're trying to get them, like if it's in the center, right? So, you still get critical, you just won't get the headshots, you know? There we go. The one problem this is, with this is that it really does take out your damage potential if you're not getting those headshots. So you do have to be a little bit more careful due to that. Oh, yeah, that guy got me. <laughs> um, it does occasionally kill them, though. That is something to keep in mind, is that, you know, it will lower your damage potential, but it will let you take them out not killing them. So, if you're looking to go non-violent, that is, that is one possibility for you. Alright, yeah, I think that's everything. Um, these these cybernetics, again, they're kind of expensive. The tech is also kind of a little bit rare, but it's not like super rare. So you will be able to find it pretty consistently. And it is, it's really nice for just kind of peeking around the corner like that. You know, it's, that's really what these things are aimed at doing. And then, you know, to shotgun someone from that far away is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I, I do like, I do like the smart weapons. They handle pretty well. A little bit better than, easier to use than the ricochet ones at least. Definitely a little bit easier to use. You watched my other video. <laughs> yeah. And see those controlled bursts like that, that I think is the best way to do it. Because you can get like some serious headshots. And just like chain the headshots on them. Um, if you just unleash it, they just go over all the different parts. So yeah. Cool. Alright, I'll see you guys around. This has been Orange One.